Uh, ooh, it's cold outside, man. I just got back from the mailbox. I was actually gonna make a video. I, I already planned on making a video today, but I got a package. Uh, knew it was coming. I just didn't know when. Okay. Uh, before I do that, uh, I've been staring at this wall right here for, God, at least, I want to say 16 months. And this is, this was up there, and this is one of these card things, but these are all my UFC autographs. Oh, oh Lord. And I, I always had one empty space. It drove me crazy because I'm anal about shit like that. It, it's like it's incomplete, 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 whatever. I'm not in school. Uh, that changes today. Uh, I found a fighter, the deserving of my wall. And I've won an autograph of this guy for about a couple years now. I want to say, uh, I'm not sure when I first uh, saw this fighter. Whenever, um, the Ultimate Fighter season of uh, Team Sonnen versus Team Bones. That one. There's a fighter on there. He's actually fighting next Saturday at the free fight night. Named Uriah Hall. If you're not a fan of UFC or anything like that, if you don't like UFC, still, do me a favor and do yourself a favor. And when you're done watching this video... Type in Uriah Hall Ultimate Fighter Knockouts and prepare to have your jaw hit the floor. The guys who have seen them know what I'm talking about. But I finally found an autograph of Uriah Hall. Elated to have that. 167 out of 195. So finally, it's complete. Happy about that. And yeah, you need to watch these knockouts out, because devastating, scary, amazing, th 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 those adjectives don't describe it. But uh, next up, I got contacted about a week ago from uh, a wonderful gentleman. Uh, we all know and love him. I call him Dan. You might know him as Saluka One. Asked for my address, and I immediately got nervous and a little aroused. Uh, have never met Dan. Hope one day to meet Dan. Uh, we're both Broncos fans, and we're both Red Sox fans. That makes us the two craziest and most dangerous people on YouTube. So, I do know that if we ever did meet each other, our tickle fights would be legendary. Anyway, he sent me a package. So thank you in advance, Dan. You didn't have to do this. But it's a nice pick-me-up after watching a football game yesterday that I knew we weren't going to win. I, wa I was halfway through the first quarter and said, the Broncos cannot beat the Colts. And uh, everybody's like, oh, man, you got to go to New England and play New England. I was like, no, we don't, because we're not going to beat the Colts at home. So Ryan J. Curtis... Congratulations. Let's see if you guys can take on Tom, but anybody else want to put money down on it being a Seahawks Patriots Super Bowl? I'm cheering for the Packers now. But we do have a note. Without trying to look at cards, I'm gonna put this right here. Alrighty. Hmm. <clears throat> Brett, just a couple of cards I thought you should have. Always enjoy watching your videos. It will blow major ass if you ever complete if you ever complete your collection and stop making videos. Oh, that's, oh don't worry about that. I'll never stop making videos because this collection is I'll probably never ever finish it. Uh, with that being said, I for one am rooting against you finding all the cards for your collection. Regards, Dan. <laughs> oh, don't worry, man. You know the people make these people always talk about. I'm leaving the the hobby. I'm. Whether you're leaving the hobby or not, I'm not leaving YouTube. Fuck that. Anyway, I'm not sure if there's an order to this. Aha! Alrighty, this little package right here. Ugh, the cards are falling out everywhere. 
I see a sexy animal in here though. All right. Looks like we got out of 2012 Topps Finest, uh, my boy, my homeboy, uh, Vincent Jackson. Nice, nice. And then right behind that, they have one of these, uh, oh, this isn't going to do it justice. Damn you, light. Uh, X Fractor. You got the little uh, the squares in there. Damn it. Let's see how. Yeah, you guys can kind of tell. It's the uh, X Fractor type deal. So that is cool. Obviously, two cards. I don't. I don't. I don't have very much of anything in Vincent Jackson in a Bucks uniform. And then uh, next up, oh nice, out of 2014 Elite, one of my all-time favorite products until Panini bought Donruss. But beside the point, uh, 2014 Elite throwback threads. Uh, 64 of 99, uh, Vincent Jackson jersey on the Chargers. So, right there, that is more than enough, Dan. But there's another card here. And it's in a magnetic, and I'm scared. But anyway, sweet. Can never have too much of any Jack stuff. Awesome. Not only is it a magnetic, but it's covered up. And I already know what it is, because I saw the back of it. And actually... This is this is funny. There's no. I'll, I'll slow roll for you guys, but I know exactly what it is. It's out of exquisite 2012 exquisite. It is the um, the exquisite art of Jake the Snake Plumber, and it is an on card autograph, and that is number eight. Yeah, 8 of 15. There are 15, 15 of these cards in the world. I now have 3 of them. So that's pretty sweet. I have... Uh, oh, God. I... Ooh. And all of them were gifts. And I'm pretty sure that uh, Dominus Infinitus sent me one. And I cannot remember for the life of me who sent me the other one. It was somewhat big. It was a big name, though. Oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have said that. But anyway, this makes number three, and it doesn't matter if I have one of them or if I have all fifteen of them. It's it's Jake the Snake. You know, you can't argue with that. That is so awesome, and funny. Not funny story, but really nice story for all you all you haters out there who don't like Jake the Snake Plumber. Uh, fuck. Before I forget, thank you, Dan, so much. That is very thoughtful. Uh, Jake and Vinny, man. Sounds like a cop team. Jake and Vinny. Uh, appreciate it, Dan. Uh, I feel tremendously embarrassed by how long of a list I have of things to hit people back with, but your name is on that list. Maybe one day when I get around to it. But anyway, uh, Jake Plake... He uh he actually moved back to Denver and he was doing an interview on one of the one of the uh, morning news networks uh, on Sunday before one of the games this season and uh, it was funny because when the Broncos released him and he left football he got in his car he packed all of his shit up and got his car and on his way to Montana he stopped to here in Denver I don't know I don't, I don't know if it's locally. It's just a like Denver thing, or if there's these places all over the country. But we have a place called the Denver Dumb Friends League. And it's places like, it's it's basically like, I don't know, I, I don't know if sanctuary is the right word for it, but it's like a pet sanctuary, like a lot of dogs and cats. Uh, I remember when I was five, right after my dad died, about a week later, we went to the Denver Dumb Friends League and I got my first cat. Yes, I'm a cat person. Deal with it. But anyway, he stopped at the Denver Dumb Friends League and gave half of his money the Broncos gave him to the Denver Dumb Friends League and then drove off to Montana. He moved back to Denver like six months ago and is now volunteer volunteering permanently at the Denver Dumb Friends League. He's not getting paid. He's just doing it because he loves it. So anybody who says, oh, Jake Plummer sucks, 
Ugh. Shut your mouth. Anyway, uh, once again, thanks, Dan. Uh, very, very nice additions to my PC. I love it. And a very nice Uriah Hall autograph. Once again, Uriah Hall, YouTube that shit. It'll blow your minds away. And uh, that's all I got. I was able to keep it under 15 minutes this time. Thanks a lot, guys.